When creating a door family in Revit, the door plan swing should never be drawn directly inside the family. It should always be included in a nested family. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to create a nested plan swing family to embed in any door family. The plan swing family we will create in this tutorial will allow you to select any opening angle you wish to use. The first step is to go to the File tab and to create a new family. Select the generic model type. Now you need to switch the family category. Click on the family category icon and click on doors and then click OK. If you go to the family types menu over here, Revit will automatically create parameters related to doors like width, height and thickness. The next step is to create a reference plane. Go to the Create tab and select the Reference Plane tool. Create a vertical reference plane to the left of the existing one. Now click here to create a dimension. Make sure to select Align Dimension or use shortcut DI. Create a dimension between both vertical reference planes. Click on the dimension and assign the width label. Make sure to lock the label by clicking on the lock icon. The next step is to create a reference line. Reference lines are used when you want to be able to rotate elements in a family. Go to the Create tab and click on this icon. Click once at the intersection of both original reference planes. Click again slightly above the first point to create the reference line. Now you need to lock the new reference line. Select the Align tool, pick the horizontal reference plane, and then the end point of the reference line. Make sure to click on the lock icon. Repeat the same process, but this time use the vertical reference plane. You'll have to use the tab key to find the end point. Use the tab key to select the end point of the reference line. Use tab again to select the other point. Then you can assign the width parameter. Also create an angular dimension that goes from the horizontal reference plane to the reference line. Create a new parameter by clicking on this icon. Call it actual angle and group under graphics. Make sure it is an instance parameter. Now you can test the angle to make sure that everything works right so far. You can try 45 degrees, 145, 270 degrees is the angle most likely to cause bugs, so make sure to test it. Like this. So we're gonna keep it at 45 degrees for the moment. Now you need to create three more reference lines to match the door panel outline. Go back to the Create tab and select the Reference Line tool. Draw the reference lines to create the plan view representation of a door panel. The precise thickness is not important for the moment, so we use a default value of 50. Use the dimension tool by using shortcut DI. Create a new dimension between the long reference lines. Assign the thickness label. Now assign angular dimensions to all the reference lines intersections. Lock all the angular dimensions by clicking on the lock icon. And actually, if you lock three of the corners, that's enough. So if you try to lock this one, you're going to get a warning. So just delete it. Again, you should test your family to make sure everything works fine. Try a few angles and make sure to always test 270 degrees. When you're done, set it back to 45 degrees. Now let's create a masking region to match the door panel outline. Go to the Annotate tab and select the Masking Region tool. In the subcategory, select Panel Cut. Select the Pick Line Draw option. Okay, and here this is important. The first line I'm going to pick is this one over here. 
I'm going to click on the reference line and click on the lock icon. Then click on the two small reference lines and lock. And end with the original reference line. And make sure to lock. For an unknown strange reason, it's important you respect the specific pick line's order, else you might get bugs in your family. Click on the green check to complete. Again, you should test a few angles. Like this, try 90 degrees, 145, 270. Everything seems to be working so far. Now we are going to create a new door subcategory. Go to the Manage tab and click on Object Styles. Click here to create a new subcategory. Call it Plant Swing. You can leave this style for the moment. Now go to the Annotate tab and create a symbolic line. Use the center arc draw option by clicking here. Select the new plant swing projection line style. With the center arc draw option, you have to click three times to create the arc line. The first click is at the intersection of these reference planes. Click again at this intersection. Click a final time at the end of the door panel. Select the arc line. In the instance properties, check the center mark visible parameter. You will now see a little cross at the reference line intersection, which represents the center of the arc line. Align the center mark to both of the reference planes. Make sure to click on the lock icon. You also need to align and lock one of the endpoints of the arc. Now you have to assign labels to the symbolic arc line. Select the line. You will see temporary dimensions for the width and for the angle. Click on this icon to make these temporary dimensions permanent. Assign the actual angle label to this dimension and the width label to this dimension. Again, test the actual angle to a few different values to make sure that the family properly works. Set it back to 45 degrees. So everything seems to be working for the moment. But there's a thing though, if the angle is too small, let's say 0.1 for example, you will get a warning and the family will break. To fix the issue, we'll create a formula for the swing angle. Go to the family types menu by clicking here. Click on this icon to create a new parameter. Set the parameter by instance. Use angle for the type of parameter. And group under graphics. Call the parameter swing angle. Now this is the tricky part. You are going to set the formula to the actual angle parameter. The if statement is used this way. First you enter the condition, then you enter what happens if the condition is true, and finally what happens if the condition is false. Separate these three elements using commas. For this formula, we want the angle to never go below one degree. You are going to type if parenthesis swing angle is smaller than one degree, comma, one degree, comma, swing angle, end of parenthesis. So basically what this formula does is that it will take the value from the swing angle and make sure it is never below one degree. If it is below one degree, Rivet will convert back the value to one degree in the actual angle parameter. In this example, we set the swing angle to 0.5. As you can see, the actual angle value remains at one degree. If we set the value to 45 degrees, both angle will be identical. This formula only has an effect when the swing angle value received from the user is below one degree. The family is now complete. Time to save it. Now load this family into another door family. Click anywhere to create an instance of the nested plant swing family. Now you need to assign the parameters from the nested family to the main door family. Select the nested family instance. Click on edit type. Click on the small rectangle next to the thickness parameter. Select the thickness parameter in the list and click OK. Repeat the same process for the width parameter. The width and thickness parameters from both families are now linked together. Finally, you need to create a new parameter to match the swing angle parameter from the nested family. In the instance properties, click on the small rectangle next to swing angle. Create a new parameter called swing angle and use the same settings as in the nested family. Use the instance setting and group under graphics. Now you need to align the reference planes from the nested family to the main door family. 
use the Align tool by using shortcut AL. Click once on the right vertical reference plane, then select the nested family reference plane. Click on the lock icon. Repeat the same process for the horizontal reference plane. Try to change the width value to make sure the family is properly working. You can also try to modify the swing angle value. Go to the Family Types menu and change the angle to a different value, like 80 degrees in this case. Everything seems to be working. An optional step that you can take is to match the door 3D panel opening angle to the nested family swing angle. This is especially helpful in 3D views and renderings. Go to the Create tab and select Extrusion. Use the Pick Lines Draw option. Now, hover your cursor above the nested family. You won't get a blue highlight, but you can click anyway and your new purple line should match the nested family. Repeat the same process for the four lines. Click on the green check to complete. Now, go to the exterior elevation. Use the line tool to match the top of the panel extrusion to the top reference plane. Click on the lock icon. Your door family is now complete. Save it and load it into a project to test it. Create two instances of the new family. In the Instance Properties, set a different swing angle for both instances. In one of the instances, we tried to go above 180 degrees. It works, but there is a conflict with the wall. Select both doors and click on the Selection Box tool in the Modify tab. You can see that the door panel opening angle matches the plan view angle. Congratulations, the family is now complete. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to download our free 50 pages pen flat PDF guide about doors at rivetpure.com slash doors. Also, make sure to check out the Revit Pure Basics package. It contains an ebook, a complete video tutorial series, an exercise project, and a basic Revit template. Basics has been used by thousands of users. People love the simplicity and efficiency of the ebook. It is built with an emphasis on images and can be used by people of any skill level. Download the complete package at revitpure.com/basics.